Hello, Pisces. Pisces, welcome to your reading. Let's do an energy check to see what you're currently working with at this moment in time. The first card that is coming up for you, the divine is giving you the energies of the Queen of Pentacles. The divine is saying to you that you are going to be seeing and experiencing your money looking good, your health looking good, your resources expanding so the divine is saying that there are good new beginnings connected to your money, your wealth, because there's an upgrade that is on the horizon for you. So Pisces, before you know it, you're going to be embodying the energies of the divine feminine of the queen of pentacles. So I really like that for you. So the next card is we already said there are new beginnings that are here, which are being confirmed by the major arcana card of the full card. So the divine is saying to you, take a chance, take a leap of faith. And through you taking a leap of faith, this is what's going to allow money, resources, wealth, your health to be looking good. But you need to understand that you must make decisions because you're receiving the energies of the two of swords. The swords operate on the mental plane and the number twos are about choices and decisions. So we already spoke about taking a leap of faith. So what leap of faith are you going to be taking? The divine is saying, don't just stand there. Don't just feel stuck. Don't just make that energy of not making any moves. Don't do that. Make some move. Take a leap of faith. Be inspired because good opportunities, good energies are on the cards for you. And that is being confirmed by the energies of the seven of cups. As you can see, the seven of cups, you now have opportunities. You now have resources. You now have choices. Pisces, you are going to be having a lot of choices coming towards you. There's an energy of you working with divine timing. There's an energy of doors opening up for you. So the divine is saying, don't fall into that energy of paralysis. Analysis, paralysis is the word I was looking for. When you overanalyze a situation, that opportunity will pass you by. Even though there are more opportunities that are coming towards you, the divine is saying, don't waste too much time arming and arring about an opportunity make a choice and understand that it is important to tune in to your intuition because your intuition is going to be guiding you your intuition is going to be leading you because some of these choices they just could be some pitfalls that you are not seeing but when you ask your intuition when you tap into your gut feeling, then you are going to be choosing the right choices that are going to be upgrading you, connected to your money, connected to your resources. So there is opportunities where your money is going to be coming in, where you are going to be seeing yourself really feeling lucky and seeing yourself taking that leap of faith that is being indicated by the full card. You have another major arcana card and the major arcana card that you have is interesting because you are receiving the energies of the hermit and the hermit is saying to you, right, I'm going to take first of all our first tarot card and the hermit card is our last tarot card. Observe that both of these energies, you are alone. The energies of the Queen of Pentacles, you're here out in the mountains, you're tuning in, you're feeling the energies, you're allowing spirit, you're allowing your guardian angels, your ancestors to guide you before you make any financial decisions. You're really going within like we spoke about when we spoke of the energies of the Seven of Cups. We saw you really feeling, thinking, asking your intuition, what is the right energy, what is the right option, what is the right opportunity for you to take up. And the energies of the hermit is emphasizing this even more because the hermit card being a major kind of card, it holds a lot of weight in this reading. So your guides and your ancestors are asking you to be alone, to ask which direction you should go in, which opportunities you should entertain and in doing so there is going to be that light there is going to be that inner knowing that is going to be around you you're going to know exactly where you need to go you're going to know exactly what you need to do so the divine is saying that there is going to be a light that is going to be shown connected to some opportunities that are on the cards for you these opportunities 
are going to see you really expanding, upgraded, and the upgrades and the expansion is connected to your money. But again, don't fall into the energy of analysis paralysis, not being able to choose. Choose because these opportunities are not going to wait around forever. Someone else is going to come and snap that opportunity if you just wait around arming and arming and not knowing what to do. The divine is saying, ask your guides, take a leap of faith, make a decision, go for it. And in doing so, you're going to be seeing that you are going to be in that energy of gratitude when you start seeing your investments, your money growing. Okay, so there's going to be some action that you need to take. Let's have a look to see what our Oracle cards have to say and how they are wanting to expand the energies that are here. So as we're getting our Oracle cards, I want to say to you that it is important for you to understand that these readings are general. Take what is resonating with you. Take what feels right to you. Do what is calling out to you. Take inspired action. Okay, so we're going to look first of all at our oracle card and see what it has to say. I want to say before we get this oracle card that the services that I offer are connected to honey jar ceremonies where we are calling in the sweet things in life. There is cord cutting ceremonies. There's return to sender ceremonies. There's banishing ceremonies. There is spiritual cleansing ceremonies and a lot, lot more. So go to my website and see what is calling out to you. And I will be more than happy to work with you. So the first card that we have, amen to that, I say to that, the stars are aligning in your favor like we already saw. You've got opportunities that are going to be coming in. You've got options that you're going to be making. You're going to be taking inspired action because like I told you, you are going to be working with divine timing. So the time is now, the time that is that moment that you just have to make a decision just like that is going to be coming towards you, okay? Because you're working with divine timing. The next card that we have, Pisces, the divine is reminding you that greatness was written for you. You're meant to live a life of luxury. You're meant to live a life of opulence. So if life doesn't feel luxurious, if you are not where you want to be, then the divine is saying, again, the stars are aligning in your favor. And as they are aligning in your favor, you're going to be seeing that opportunities are coming in. Make sure that you're making decisions. Make sure that you're taking those opportunities. Don't wait around forever because those opportunities are going to be gone. Okay. But at the same time, make sure that you're tuning into your guides. You're tuning into your intuition. You're really tapping in to the divine guidance that is going to be around you. And then you're going to be taking the action that you need to take. Let's look at one more card to see what else is coming up for you. There you go. We spoke about speaking to your guides. We spoke about speaking to your ancestors. We spoke about tuning in and seeing the light that comes from within, lighting the way of the opportunities which opportunities you should be going for. And this is going to be coming from your guides. We spoke about the stars aligning for you. And look at that. Your guides, your ancestors are saying to you that we have been speaking to you. They are confirming the message that we already saw. They are confirming that money is coming in. They are confirming that options and opportunities are going to be flooding in. So your guides and your ancestors are saying to you, that you've been seeing repeating numbers, you've been seeing angel numbers, and they are wanting you to understand that those angel numbers have a meaning, okay? They are just not there for your entertainment, for your amusement, but rather, this is your guides trying to lead you, this is your guides speaking to you. So when you're seeing repeating numbers, maybe search them out to see what it is that they're trying to say, but nonetheless, your guides and your ancestors are saying to you, that we are wanting to guide you. We are wanting to walk with you. So it is important for you to listen and to tap into your intuition before you make any decisions because there just could be some pitfalls that are there that you are not seeing, but your guides and your guardian angels are seeing this. So if you listen, you are then going to be choosing the right option that is going to lead to this upgrade that we already spoke about. So Pisces, 
you've got beautiful energies that are going to be coming towards you in the month of May. You're going to be seeing a lot of opportunities and a lot of doors opening up for you. Make sure that, again, you tune in, you listen to your guides and your ancestors, but at the same time, you take action. So this is the message that I have for you. If you found value in this reading, I want you to drop the money emoji in the comment section below, Pisces. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. For those of you who are doing our quantum leap ritual, let's go and do some quantum leaping into a better future and a better existence. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multi-millionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card, which was a reminder to me that I am the magician. I am the alchemist and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done bring this vibe this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery so let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude divine thank you so much for everything that i already have in my life thank you for all the blessings that i have Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline. Divine, where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now 
bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory. So we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the nine of cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation because remember by giving you open up your hands to receiving a shade.